This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. Trade Flow Capital Management celebrates five years of strong returns and SME success. To find out more, please visit www.tradeflow.capital. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Oil prices surged on Monday, posting their biggest daily rise in nearly a year, after a surprise announcement by OPEC Plus to cut more production jolted markets. Brent crude was trading at $84.80 a barrel as of 12.15 GMT, up $4.91, or 6.2%, after touching the highest in a month at $86.44. West Texas Intermediate Crude US was at $80.27 a barrel, up $4.60, or 6.1%, after hitting its highest level since late January. The organization of the petroleum exporting countries and their allies including Russia shook markets by announcing further production target cuts of about 1.16 million barrels per day, BPD, on Sunday. Russia's largest oil producer Rosneft and India's top refiner Indian Oil Corp agreed to use the Asia-focused Dubai oil price benchmark in their latest deal to deliver Russian oil to India, three sources familiar with the deal said. The decision by the two state-controlled companies to abandon the Europe-dominated Brent benchmark is part of a shift of Russia's oil sales towards Asia after Europe shunned Russian oil following Russia's invasion of Ukraine more than a year ago. Both benchmarks are denominated in dollars and set by S&P Platts, a unit of US-based S&P Global Inc., but Brent is mostly used by European oil majors and traders, whereas Dubai is heavily influenced by Asian and Middle Eastern oil trading. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. The European Union is moving ahead with plans to set an emissions-cutting target for 2040, a milestone to steer the world's third biggest economy towards zero net greenhouse gas emissions a decade later. The European Commission, which drafts EU policies, is seeking views from the public, industries and civil society on the 2040 target, according to documents published on Friday. Meeting Europe's climate goals will require significant changes in how goods are produced and consumed. In designing the goal, the Commission said it would consider the transformation needed in sectors like energy, transport, industry and farming, including the impact on jobs and people's health. Top oil exporter Saudi Arabia may raise crude prices for Asia in May after OPEC Plus announced additional production cuts to shore up the market just as China's demand is expected to increase in the second quarter as refineries finish maintenance. The May official selling price, OSP, for flagship Arab light crude could be hiked by about 20 cents to $2.70 a barrel, a third month of increases, a Reuters survey of sources from five Asian refiners showed on Monday. The market had been mostly expecting Saudi Aramco to cut the May OSP, which typically tracks Dubai's market structure to reflect the first and third month price spread. In March, the spread slid by about 30 cents. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Revenue from Australia's exports of critical minerals like lithium and nickel will nearly equal the current second biggest export earner coal by 2028 as the global energy transition gathers pace, the government said in an update of its five-year outlook. Australia's industry department, which on Monday forecast another record year of resources export revenue, said global coal demand had passed its peak, whereas demand for minerals like lithium, nickel, copper and rare earths was set to speed up. Lithium and base metals, and their raw material inputs, will account for almost as much export revenue as all coal types by 2027-28, it said in its March quarterly report, which provided the updated outlook. Gold prices slid on Monday after a surprise announcement from OPEC Plus about a cut to oil output sparked inflation concerns and raised bets of an interest rate hike at the U.S. Federal Reserve's upcoming May meeting. Spot gold was down 0.6% at $1,956.89 per ounce, as of 0709 GMT, its lowest in nearly a week. U.S. gold futures shed 0.7% to $1,971.30. 
The opportunity cost of holding non-yielding bullion rises when interest rates are increased to lower inflation. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Malaysian palm oil futures finished more than 3% higher on Monday, in the market's biggest rise in two months, as a rally in crude oil lifted prices after Saudi Arabia and other OPEC Plus producers announced a surprise cut in their output target. The benchmark palm oil contract for June delivery on the Bursa Malaysia Derivatives Exchange climbed 124 ringgit, or 3.3%, to 3,885 ringgit a ton, peaking at 3,919 ringgit, or 4.2% higher, earlier in the session. A buying frenzy, fueled by crude oil, sent palm futures up, said Sathya Varka, co-founder of Singapore-based Palm Oil Analytics. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.